Starship its rates at checkout features allow you to display shipping costs at checkout in your e-commerce store. In this tutorial, we'll run through how to configure live shipping rates or set flat rates depending on your requirements. Starship it offers two methods of displaying rates at checkout, live shipping rates and table rates. Live shipping rates pulls accurate costs from your courier company and displays them at checkout, with options to enable and disable services or adjust margins if needed. Table rates are flat shipping rates that are set based on destination and weight conditions. Note that live rates are not available for all platforms and courier services. Before you begin, check out the About Live Rates at Checkout support article linked in the video description and complete any specific instructions related to your integrated platform. Once this has been done, go to Settings, then Check Out Rates. Head into Courier Configuration, then tick Enable Advanced Configuration. From here, select contract rates from your desired courier. The services you've enabled for your courier will be displayed, split across two tables, domestic and international. Enable the services you wish to display rates for. You can change the name if desired using the display name field. You can also adjust the rate using the margin type and values fields. For example, you can add a margin to cover the packaging cost or use a negative value to make your rates more competitive. You can use the failover product code to set a rate that will be used when the automatic retrieval service is down, one for international and one for domestic. To enable this, set the margin type to add amount, then the margin value to the total fallback shipping price. You can enable contract rates for as many compatible courier and services as you like. Save your changes when finished. To test your rates, click on Tools, enter an address under Test Rates, select the relevant platform if it appears here, if not select API, then Get Rates. If the connection is working correctly, you'll see rates displayed for the relevant services. To set up table rates, go to Settings, then Check Out Rates. Click Courier Configuration, then enable Advanced Configuration. The most straightforward way to set this up is to use the flat rate table rate. You can use this one section for all of the rates you want to display, regardless of the courier. The fields here are as follows. Product code and name, mandatory fields. The product code is a personal reference and can be any unique number. Product name will be displayed at checkout. You can name this anything you like. The country code, state code and postcode fields can be empty if you'd like the rate to apply to all of their respective codes. You can list codes if you'd like to confine this rate to the listed codes. You can also hyphenate between postcodes to cover a range. Codes can be excluded with an exclamation mark. The shipping rates field is mandatory and contains the weight, then the rate associated with that weight, separated by a vertical bar. You can add as many rows as you like to refine your rates. In this example, I want to set up two lots of flat shipping rates, one for domestic and one for international. I'll set the product name to be domestic and international to reflect this at checkout. I'm shipping from Australia, so I'll set my domestic rates country code to AU and I'll set my international code to exclude AU so that it covers every other country. For domestic, I'll set orders up to 5 kilograms to be charged at $6.50, 5 to 10 kilograms to $15, and 10 to 20 kilograms to $22. I'll adjust my international rates to reflect the increased cost. Note that if you disable table rates, the information here will be lost, so it's a good idea to keep a backup somewhere. Check for links in the video description and visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and tutorials. Music